Let's talk about the fifth match in Corrigan Hall from March 10, 2024 as the Cinderella Tournament continues with a Cinderella Tournament matchup that you absolutely must see. We're talking about Mirai versus Hannon. And this was just your classic, you know, changing of the guard, passing the torch. This was Hannon's moment. And you had him spawning it for you right at the start, the first 30 seconds, telling you that Hannon wins an incredible matchup that the crowd built the whole way through. You have to watch this to see what I'm saying. At the beginning, I don't want to say they weren't into it, but the crowd wasn't super hot. You know, they were kind of dull, kind of not really into it. They got better as it went along. About the middle of the match, it was a pretty decent crowd interaction. They were they were happy and excited to watch this match. And by the last three minutes or so, these people were chanting for Hannon and and just hooping and hollering and really into this matchup. Now again, not on an American level, these are Japanese fans, but you could you you felt the crescendo. Just as you as the match grew, so did this crowd. And it just matched perfectly. It reminded me of the old days back in the eighties whenever I used to really, really love wrestling all around the world. That's what this crowd in this match reminded me of as it built. And this was last year's winner in Mirai taking on not a rookie, not at all, but someone who's still building up who they are going to be. Someone who has been called the future ace of this company, but still the future ace. But here, Hannon used the psychology, the story, if you will, of this young girl coming up to the top, getting her come up and being the person you can look to to carry stardom into the future. And she used every bit of that energy to survive the powerful attacks of Mirai, uh, getting out of them, especially towards the end when Mirai lifted her up for some kind of driver and Hannon twisted her body in a way that made Hannon come down on top of Mirai, sort of crunching her, sort of crushing her in a way. And Hannon's not a huge girl, but it, it just stunned and took the wind out of Mirai or something good enough for Hannon to hit her... German suplex, bridging German suplex to get the win, one, two, three, and a terrific matchup that this skyrockets Hannon into the into the upper echelons of this tournament and makes you look at her as a possible favorite winner here. Yes, that's how good this match was. Was it five star, ten out of ten? Not necessarily, but this was a solid eight, eight and a half. For a short match, it was very, very good. Told a terrific story. And let me tell you what, I, I hate using insider terms, but Hannon is such a such a good selling babyface. The babyface in Perel. That's what she was all match long, where the crowd could see her and feel her and want her to come back and win this and that's what happened that's the story that was told mirai did an excellent job with it too of course uh she seemed prideful to have done this for hannah and somebody eventually had to this was a big moment i really see hannah stepping up and stepping out after this um winning this tournament or coming close and becoming an even bigger star here Thanks to Mariah, and thanks for this performance. Uh, that's where I'm going to cut off for tonight, guys. Back to work in the morning. I'll review more of this show sometime tomorrow. Please subscribe to the YouTube, and I appreciate it.